Hey there, Gary mentioned that you had some questions regarding 3D printing. I thought that I would do just a quick video to give you an idea of how it works. So I'm on the website, thingiverse.com, thingiverse.com, and I will go to the top of the page. I'm trying to make a spool roller um, for the, the heavier, larger spools that we bought so that we could just keep printing as much as possible. And see, these are some of the options that, that come up. The machine that I have has room for a small spool, but it doesn't have the room uh, enough room for the big spools that we have. So the pro that's the problem that I'm trying to solve. And we can see here some options uh, for what different people are doing to make spool rollers to enable them to use those larger and heavier spools. And I happen to have already found this one that I think looks really simple. Um, it uses bearings, four bearings, which I uh, conveniently printed this morning. Um, I can't print metal, but I can print plastic. And I printed some plastic bearings that aren't going to be awesome, but they're, they're going to do the job that I need them to do. I quickly preview what it is that I'm about to print, just to make sure everything looks right. Generally, there'll be some kind of summary information. Uh, yeah, yet another spool roller, you can tell it's a popular upgrade. Uh, designed with, to work with bearings with an inner diameter of approximately something, something. I think that's a 608. 608 is a popular bearing, but that doesn't matter to you. I'm going to click download all files. I will put those files in my desktop 3D demo or the file that's in zip archive. I'll just save it to a place where I know where it's at. Hey, there it is. And I'm going to extract that so I can get straight to the files. And you can usually look at images of it. That's not the folder we care about. We care about files. STL files is what my printer uses. So I'm going to double click. And that opens the slicer. I've had several times this come up where the um, print that I'm making is somehow not ready for my scaler, or slicer rather. I'll click repair model. The model has been repaired. And you can see that it's slightly bigger than the print bed. What I'll do to fix that is just rotate it on this blue axis. When it's lit up, I know that I've got it, and I can just turn it and now I'll move it so now it should be just about in the right place let's rotate it just a little bit more doesn't have to be too perfect this has to fit and this might not be size right, but I guess we can we can explore that together. Or most of the exploration will be done offline. This is just to show you how it generally works. I'm going to click print. I'm not printing in ABS. This is the type of uh, media that you're using or the filament that you're using. I am using PLA. Um, since this appears to sit flat on the floor of it, I don't need a wrap. A raft just prints the very bottom layer and that helps um, helps to keep everything stuck on the print bed so it'll print correctly. Supports is if you have like an arm sticking straight out it can't print in the air so it builds a support up under that arm that you can break off later. We don't need that in this case either. I don't need any special features or any extra strength. This, this just needs to snap together with the the bearings that I have. So I think I'm pretty well ready to go. Let's check out more options just in case. I can get finer resolution so it looks neater. I can change the infill so it's stronger. This will print a honeycomb pattern in the middle of it. Um, and it changes the size of the honeycomb so that you're getting more plastic or more strength for the hollow space inside of it. I'll click OK. And it'll let me save the GX file. And I will save that into the same folder that I'm working from for this demo. 
that's telling me that it's use, using about 3.4 meters of the filament that I'm using. It'll take less than an hour to print. Uh, I can get the more specific information. Of course, it's not using the right material type in that calculation. It's not the best designed app. Send G code is what sends it over to the printer. So I'll click that. And this is where my printer is on my network. Click Connect. So you can see the temperatures that are here. Um, everything has to heat up somewhat to be able to get a good print. The uh, printer bed or the platform, we have set to go to 50, C, uh, 50 Celsius. The extruder has to get up to 210 so that it can melt the plastic or the filament. Generally, it doesn't take long. Um, I'm going to switch screens so that you can see It's not as choppy as it looks in the video. The video is only getting a, a few frames per second. So it stops there and hangs out for a while while it's coming up to temperature. You see the platform will come up to temperature before it really starts working on the extruder. But the extruder gets pretty hot pretty quick when it's ready. Uh, it'll be starting any second. There we go. And almost all of this is just handled by the software. You have to know very little. Note, the only things that I had to do here was search on Thingiverse, find the, the thing that I wanted, open it, and tweak it um, if it needs to be tweaked. All right, that's not taking long at all, so I'm going to switch. All right, we just hit 210, and you can see that extruder is lowering to the platform, which is sliding back in place. The platform slides forward and back. The extruder slides left and right. And right now, it's just writing a little sample strip just to make sure it wipes any extra melted filament off the nozzle. And now it's beginning to draw the outline of the object that I printed. So it's not super fast. Uh, again, the one that we're doing right now will take about 51 minutes. And I'll need four of these. So this will be about four hours of my life. Something else that I think is interesting. Um, I'll let that go for a second while I get to the page. So as that's printing, I can go to this website. I can click View Details. And I could do this from work. I could do this from across the country or from your house. I click on the printer. It knows that it's currently printing a job locally. It knows there's 15 minutes remaining. And I can even turn on a little video camera, which is oddly and sadly stretched. There we go. So if this ever catches up with itself, it will show me the slow progress that it's making. So you can kind of monitor the job while you're away. That's probably not as fun as just paying attention to it while you're there. Now it's got the LED on because the camera's on. Here, I'll turn that off on the website. And I would think that they turn that light off when the camera is on, but they have not done so. But that doesn't break my heart. OK, well, this is going to take a while. I will probably end up sending you a photo of the result. I hope that helps.
Okay, well, sad news to report. The design that we were going with earlier was way too big and it wouldn't accommodate the bearings that I had pre-printed. So what you're looking at now is the new design that we decided to go with. Um, by the way, if you have an interest, these are the, eh, I'll get there. So this, uh, the posts on the other were enormous. They were about half, they were about a full centimeter and we need about three quarters. Um, these should be able to flip onto themselves and press together without much fuss. And I think we're about to see the end of the print. Let's it looks like the timer is just about out and it is just finishing the very top of the posts. Oh, that's one. This is one of the bearings. And it should be able to go right over those posts as we slide those together. Oh, and the sound changes. Just have a moment. That is how it beckons to say that it's finished. For some prints, the bed will still be a little hot. For this, it's not too bad. So, Part two. I'm gonna make sure you get all the loose filament off the bed. So See if we can find so this is right on there. That's a good fit. It's cousin is on there. Good fit. <laughs> now we line up the media pieces. They're a good fit. Good fit has been achieved. And secret discovered. I already knew that that was going to work because I had to do this in two parts. So now I have these. And their purpose is to make it easier for this. To roll out our filament. And I'm going to call that a win. Back to the star of the show. And I hope that's helpful.